to go ahead and put these points on the scatter plot. When I look at these, I notice that the top two, they're both going up. There's a straight line, a, a linear function with a positive slope. Okay, so this is our x-axis, our y-axis, x-axis, y-axis. Okay, so these are what we call have positive correlation, which means as x increases, y increases. And you're like, well, there's two kinds. What did the two kinds mean? So the first one, this is called a weak because they are spread out. Okay, they are further apart where the other one is called strong, a strong positive correlation because they are close together. I'm gonna look at the bottom two. They are similar to the top two, but they are going down. They have a negative slope. And so this is a negative correlation. So when we talk about our x and our y, this is as x goes increases, y is going to decrease. They go opposite. All right. And the first one is also weak. And the second one is strong. And then our last one, my points are all over the place, so this has no correlation. This means there's no relationship between X and Y. All right, so now when we talk about real world situations, <clears throat> when we talk about a positive correlation, right, that means things like hours at the mall and the amounts of money spent, right? Because the more time I spend at the mall, the more likely I'm to buy more things, okay? This is also, another example would be like income and education, okay? The higher your income typically comes from the higher your education level, okay? And then another one would be hours of studying and grades on a test, right? <clears throat> so notice, as one of them increases, the other one is also increasing. So that's positive. When I talk about negative, these are things that are opposite, okay? So like distance traveled and the amount of gas left in the car, right? The more you, the further you drive, your gas is going to go down because you're using it, right? Okay. <clears throat> um, the temperature and amount of jackets being worn. Okay. The higher the temperature, the less amount of jackets are being worn. The lower the temperature, more people are wearing jackets. All right. And then a no correlation would be like test scores and shoe size. They have nothing to do with each other. Or how tall a person is and how fast they drive. All right, so those are some examples of real world situations that are <clears throat> positive, negative, or no correlation. And then we have this thing called correlation versus causation. Okay, so correlation is a relationship between two events and causation is that one of one of the events causes the other listening check shade in those two boxes listening check shade in correlation and causation boxes all right one thing we do need to remember is that correlation does not 
imply causation. Just because things are correlated doesn't mean that they are caused by the other one, okay? So let's look at some examples of causation. So a good example of causation, sizing, causes you to do what? Burn calories. All right. Burning calories is the result of so burning calories is the result of exercising. Where a correlation would be the temperature outside and ice cream sales. Okay. <clears throat> Hot weather doesn't cause people to buy ice cream. Yes, more people totally buy more ice cream when it's hot outside, but that doesn't mean just because it's hot, more people are gonna buy ice cream, okay? It's not, the hot weather doesn't like, oh, it's hot, I have to have ice cream because it's hot. No, it's just because we're hot and we want something cool um, to eat, okay? Um, <clears throat> same with, another example would be the number of firefighters, fire, and the size of the fire, okay? <clears throat> the bigger the fire, the more firemen. However, this doesn't mean bringing more firemen will cause the fire to increase, okay? So if you go to like a small little fire and you bring 20 firemen, that fire all of a sudden isn't like burning up an entire house by then, okay? So yes, more firemen show up because of the size of a fire, but that doesn't mean that if I bring more people, the fire is gonna increase, or if I bring less people, the fire is gonna decrease, okay? It's not really how that works, right? So that's kind of causation and correlation.